All right. Hey, Matt, what's happening? I see you're outside today. Yeah, it's a nice rainy day. How are you doing? I'm good. So we're going to talk about a site called hucksters.net, um, which is uh, another in a long line of sites that looks like you can put whatever you want about anybody up on this website. Yeah, I never heard of them until recently. We've had two clients ask about it. So it kind of seems like it's due to have a conversation about it. Yeah, they're, uh, I looked at their homepage and, it said, and they had a, a new acronym I'd never heard before, that they're the largest aggregator, I guess, of OSINT intelligence or something. And I was O-S-I-N-T. And so I was like, what is that? And so I looked it up. It's an acronym for open source intelligence, which, you know, is a fancy way of saying they crowdsource all of the information on their site. All right. Yeah. One way to put it. Um, yeah. To cut to the chase, uh, one of the removal guys we have, we assigned it to him and he was able to get it removed. We reached out to Huckster's, you know, asked them like, hey, how much do you want to remove this? Always, you know, can't hurt to ask. And they weren't going to play ball on that. So our removal guy was able to get it removed. It's removed from Google, not removed from the source, but same end result where people won't find it. So it's technically it's a de-indexing then? Exactly. So it's a de-index, not a full 404 removal. But same end result. It took my guy, I think it was about two weeks to do. So mm-hmm. relatively quick. Um, a few thousand. Um, so kind of average price tag typically. And it's been like two or three months now that uh, we gave it to them and it's been off. So seems like a permanent solution. As always, we put a 20 year guarantee on things. Mm-hmm. And, and Huckster is just a little bit about that site. I mean, I don't know if you've played around with it yet or not. I haven't had a chance to, but do, do they have editorial review or anything, do you know, or is it simply you can just, I can go on there and write a bad report about you. And then there it is. I think it's Huckster's writing it. Actually, but it's, I don't know. It's not like they really disclosed that. But the way that the two reports I've seen were written, it seemed like the same person. They're very different clients that have no interaction with each other. So that's unless it's just coincidence that the person writes the same. But yeah, I don't believe in coincidences. Yeah. Well, when I do the blog post for uh, the Huckster's removal, I'll, I'll do a more of a thorough research on it. And yeah. sometimes yeah. I like to go to these sites myself and just post like an anonymous story about someone anonymous and see if it sticks and then turn around like a few weeks later and then email the hucksters and say, Hey, can you take this post down and see what they say? Okay. I like it. Yeah. That's some, somehow that's a, that's how I do my background research. Smart. I like it. Yeah. So the bottom line is if you're um, an individual or a business and you've been written up on hucksters.net and you feel like it's, negatively affecting your online reputation you should reach out to us and we've got a fully guaranteed way to get get rid of it yes thank you great all right thanks matt thanks mike